Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 9th through the 15th of April, 2023. I do hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to take a second to remind everyone that this is a general reading, not a personal reading, and therefore it may not resonate with every Aquarius out there. So just take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. Be mindful that the energy can reverse or flip-flop, and that is not unusual in a general reading. Please don't try to force yourself into a story or reading that is not for you. All right, let's get started, Aquarius. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aquarius? Aquarius. All right. Aquarius, you are starting out with the Prince of Cups. You have the Two of Cups in the reverse. And coming out together, we have the Three of Cups and the Lovers in reverse. So you're definitely not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Um, I feel like you would like a reconciliation, though. I, I'm also seeing that some of you are possibly hoping for a new beginning, and some of you may be looking for an apology. There could have been an, a big argument that was here. Um, I do feel you have a strong tie to this person, though. Like, um, for some of you, you keep coming back to this person, or they keep coming back. The relationship um, keeps coming back. This could be a soulmate, but you're just not seeing eye to eye. I can see a breakup a desire for a reconciliation. If you're not giving an apology, you may be waiting for an apology. Um, there's love here for sure. There's definitely love here. And there's a desire for a, a new beginning. Some of you have a choice. You may, um, you may have somebody new in your life, but you may also be hoping for a reconciliation. So you may be at a... a pivotal point where you have to make a choice here for some. Let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in the energy of Aquarius. Show me who's in the energy of Aquarius. All right, we have the Hermit in reverse, sign of Virgo. And I'm not seeing it out, but I'm feeling Scorpio for some of you. We have Justice in Reverse, Sign of Libra. And we have the Five of Swords and the Two of Disc. Okay. So the person in your energy, they want to talk. There's been a period of time between the two of you um, that there's been no communication. But I do feel that they definitely want to talk. This person feels like they've been wronged. And I do feel that they um, <laughs> they they want to find balance in the situation, but I do think that they're seated in a bit of prideful energy. Um, so some of them, it could be that they feel that they've wronged you. So we'll clarify that to be uh, sure, but I'm seeing this energy of this person having done a lot of soul searching. They've been trying to find answers, and they do feel that they have found answers, that they've they've gotten what it is that they were looking for. They now want to communicate, but I do see them still being a little bit of, um, it's, it's almost this energy of like prickly energy here. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Spirit, show me the energy between Aquarius and this person. Show me the connection, please. Yeah, either they feel wronged or they feel um, they've done you wrong. It, I'm going to have to clarify that. All right, we have the Hierophant in reverse. There's the breakup. So the two of you are not currently together. Show me what's affecting this connection. Show me what is affecting this connection. Just 
judgment. Yeah, so there may be a sense here that, that this is over, that this is just over and a judgment call was made. Let's see your outcome. All right, we have the Magician in reverse, sign of Gemini, and we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra is very strong. Like I said, there's a prickly nature. This person's angry. They feel, I feel like they feel wronged or like I said, they, they may know that they've done something unjust towards you, but I feel like this person is angry. Um, they may be angry because things didn't manifest the way that they had hoped. And it's like they, there's this judgment call that's been made with regard to this but they do want to talk. They do. Um, and I'm also feeling like this person doesn't easily take um, advice or somebody may have given them bad advice even. Um, now on your side, I feel like you are, you know, wanting a reconciliation here, but at the same time, um, it's not manifesting and you may feel it's because this person is so prickly. It is because they're, they have this angry, you know, I'm going to win at all costs type of energy. You may feel that they're in, in a state of pride because they're kind of planning. They're planning how they're going to they're gonna win here. So it seems like that prideful energy where they're, no matter what they're going to win, even if they have to do something that's a little bit sketchy. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the moon in reverse. Okay, so this indicates its underlying energy that some sort of secret could have come out um, or it could be that somebody's had an epiphany here. There are things that are being revealed though. There are definitely things being revealed. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Prince of Cups here? There is a time element to this and like I said, um, I... Either you're wanting an apology or you're wanting to give an apology. I, I feel like at this point you're wanting an apology because this person feels like they're just angry and a little hostile, to be honest. Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Tower in Reverse. So there again, we see wanting to rebuild this, wanting to, to you know, come out of a Tower moment, come there's passion for this person. Um, I do feel like, I do feel like you're willing to take action here to, to kind of restore this connection. There's definitely a physical component to this, but there's love here as well on your side. We have the hangman. We have the page of wands in the reverse. You're waiting for communication. Waiting, waiting for a resolution here. And I feel like this, this has gone on for a while. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a, a sense of this uh, argument or this um, not seeing eye to eye. This breakup has gone on for a while. And I feel like you haven't been communicating. They haven't been communicating. Although you desire to. But you're, there's a waiting energy as well. You may be waiting for them to communicate. I do think that they will communicate. All right, we have the three of coins reversed. We have the hermit. Now that's in their energy um, in the reverse. And we have the lovers in reverse. Now that's clarifying the lovers in reverse. So I feel like there's been a, a long period of time that there's been no communication. You're just not on the same page with this person. Although they could be a soulmate, honestly. There could have been some third party energy here. And I'm seeing that the non-communication occurred because of a broken contract, a broken soul contract, or it could have been a foundation between the two of you was destroyed, but you would like to restore that. Although you're not 
you're not saying that to this person. You're kind of keeping silent as well. I feel like you're waiting um, either to communicate or you could be waiting for them to communicate. That I have to say that that stems from insecurity though. There's a desire definitely to rebuild here, but I don't see you verbalizing it. Um, why is the hermit in reverse? King of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Le uh, Taurus, Taurus Virgo, or Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. We also have Sagittarius. So, they want to communicate about healing this. They do want to communicate. I see them coming forward to do so. Um, there's commitment here. There's commitment. This person may have been working on their money during this time period and also healing themselves. This person's had an epiphany. That's what I was seeing here. They've had an epiphany that either they're seeing you as their, their king of coins or... They want to offer that to you. They want to offer commitment. I do feel like spirit is guiding this person, though. But in the meantime, it, feel, it feels like they've been working on their money. I do feel they want to heal this, and they're going to communicate that. All right. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Death card. So things were stuck. This person may have been commitment phobic. They may have just been dragging things along so slowly, or perhaps they feel you were, and then it just eventually, it, it was just over because it was so unbalanced. So I'm seeing that ending. You're both focused on that ending. This is why the two of you are not on the same page. It's because things were moving way slow, way slow. Um, why is the Five of Swords here? Two of this. Show me. King of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords and the Devil. Sign of Capricorn. So the reason this, um, well, I can't even say it's the reason. There's some toxic energy that's here. And it has to do with pride. This person definitely is, um, they're planning. They're, they're planning. They're not taking action. They're planning. They, they literally sit up at night thinking about this. But I, I, I'm going to be honest, Aquarius. I do see toxic energy here. And it's because this person is, is angry and prideful. So they literally sit up and plan about how they can win this. Like they're highly stressed and they're highly um, worried about this, but their energy is coming from this place of kind of being prideful. They feel stuck in this ending, and I, I feel like this person, I feel like they were the one dragging their feet, because you're, you're in a waiting energy here. You were waiting and waiting. This person didn't want to budge, and there's Still this energy of how can I win? How can I win? But there, there's toxic energy here. It has to do with anger and pride. They didn't expect to be as attached to you as they are. They're very attached. Um, and they, they don't like it. it. It bothers them that they feel so attached to you. They don't understand it. All right, let's see why the Hierophant is in reverse. Like I said, this person doesn't like to take um, advice from anyone. All right, we have judgment. Now, that's what's affecting the, the connection. So, this person that you're dealing with, Aquarius, made a judgment call. They made a judgment call... Um, I feel like they made a poor judgment call to end this. And now they're kind of working on their money, trying to heal themselves, but they want to talk. They want to talk and they're wanting to see if this is over. If this is fine, if it's over, over. 
They want to know where you're coming from because you're being very quiet, very silent. You're healing yourself. You would like to rebuild this. And there is a definite mutual physical attraction here. Um, the problem I'm seeing is I don't see cups on their side. I see a lot of mental energy, a lot of strategizing. I do feel like this person feels that they made a mistake to end this, that this, this was a mistake. And I feel like you're, you're keeping silent. You're keeping quiet. You're waiting for them to come to you to, to approach you. Um, why is judgment here? I feel like they would like to bring this back together. Yeah, you're not, you're not speaking. You're, you're in a waiting mode. And they're wanting to now bring this back together. They realize that they made a, a poor judgment call. I feel like they want a higher level of commitment with you. And they feel stuck now with this ending. But it was because they made a very poor judgment call. And it was an injustice. And they realize <laughs> that they caused an unbalanced situation. Now they want to fix it. And they're strategizing on how to do that. But I am going to say that they're in this prideful, angry energy. So, you know, it's one of planning and, and strategizing um, and not really taking action. And I feel like you're, you're going to wait them out on this because you are, um, even though you want a reconciliation, you don't want it under the circumstances that you're not on the same page. So, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. So, it's not manifesting because of this angry energy that this person's carrying. I, I feel like you're going to block this. You're, some of you have blocked them entirely. Like, they don't have access to you. There it is again. They want a reconciliation. We have the moon. We have the five of pentacles reversed. We have the knight of wands reversed. You're not, you're not letting this come together under these circumstances. There's a realization here. The moon is again in reverse. Now that's underlying energy. So there's a realization that you have, Aquarius, that you're not on the same page with this person, that it's not manifesting. I feel like you're not allowing the communication to come through. You're blocking this person. And it may have had to do with some third party energy that that came out, some energy that came out. I feel like this person's trying to, you know, rid themselves of this toxic energy because they do want this reconciliation. But the truth is, is that they, this person's very much strategizing and planning on how to, how to um, bring this back together. But I'm not sure their motivation is the best. They definitely want a reconciliation, though. It's like they, they constantly think about this and worry about it. But their, their energy is somewhat toxic, so I'd be careful with that. You see, they've realized in this separation that they, they want you. And they're going to fight for the connection, but not in the most positive way is the problem. And you, you see that. You realize it. And I feel like you're blocking this person. Yeah, you don't, you don't want a player. You don't want a player or a manipulator. And you're seeing right through them. That's the thing. Is you see right through all this, this planning and this, um, this anger and this toxic energy. You're seeing right through them. And so I feel like you're blocking them. Yeah, you're blocking, you're actually blocking the reconciliation because they're not approaching you in the right way. And I feel like you're, you're having none of it. Bottom of the deck is the three of wands. 
it's the energy of waiting. They're trying to wait you out. <laughs> you're, you're waiting to, you know, see if more stuff comes out, if more secrets come out. And I feel like you're, you can see right through this person. Their motivation is not the best. And for some, this is somebody who is married and puts you in a third party. You may not have even known. And I feel like this person is saying, okay, well, I'm getting a divorce. I'm ending this. But they just never got there. They're still married. And they're coming back, but they are still coming back married. And you realize, you know, it's like the game is over, buddy. Or buddy, buddy, yes, or whatever. I mean, it's not male or female. This person never actually ended the marriage. But yet they still want to come back together with you. And that's toxic. So, let's see. Let's see what oracles come out, if any. For Aquarius, please. Yeah, you see right through this person. And kudos to you on that. All right, we have cycles. Yeah, fate, karma, something ending and something beginning. So they may actually be, you know, moving through a divorce. They may be trying to, you know, take themselves out of a another connection, but they're moving very, very slow. They're moving extremely slow. They may feel stuck in another connection for some reason, but I, I will say, Aquarius, that you're spot on. You're seeing them, you know, accurately. You know that the two of you are not on the same page, and you're refusing to allow this to go through until they clear up all this toxic energy, and it's pissing them off, but they don't like that you can see right through them. So, and you're, you're in a waiting mode. You're like, okay, you do, you boo. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you, Aquarius. Um, if this has resonated with you in any way, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And be sure to hit the little bell at the side so you get notifications when I upload your videos. Until I see you in about a week for your weekly reading, namaste.